Hey everybody, Eric Hayden here in the garden today. If you've seen my videos the last couple days, we've had an extreme amount of rainfall here in eastern North Carolina. And when we get into wet periods and rainy periods, you might think that it's kind of hopeless in terms of spraying. You know, diseases such as black spot and uh, powdery mildew, things like that can certainly creep up. Uh, of course, you got the beautiful blooms. This is fragrant cloud. Um, you know, overall, the, the garden is looking good. Um, the growth is really good. It's certainly liking all the rainfall, but diseases can be an issue. Um, you know, you might not be able to sneak in your weekly spraying because of all the rain, because you certainly don't want to spray and then it rains. It will wash most of um, those uh, sprays that you put down the leaves and roses away. I will say one thing, when there's a period of dry weather like this, Sometimes you just have to sneak out there and get it done. And what I mean by that is if you have day after day after day of rain, but it's your day to spray, see if you can find a window, even a half an hour or hour to spray your roses. I know it's not ideal. Ideal would be spraying and let it completely dry for at least a few hours, if not a whole day. But sometimes you don't have ideal conditions and it's still better to spray something then let it go past when it's due to be sprayed. I wanna give you an example of this. I sprayed this morning and it rained pretty quickly after. It is what it is, um, but I have some black spots showing up and I wanna stay ahead of that. I've noticed that there's still spray residue on the leaves, even though we had a, about a quarter inch of rainfall. So yes, the effectiveness will be less, but it's still better than nothing. And if you do a good job when you're spraying, I usually focus on the undersides of the leaves first. This is where all your disease and insects usually are. So when you have your spray wand, you really want to angle it up and get under these leaves really, really good. Then at the end, you do a quick pass and you do the top. And the reason why I say that, most of the pests and disease uh, live under the leaves anyway. Um, and when you're in a rainy period, here's something I just cut off of a uh, crescendo. Um, so there is some spray residue on top, but it's gonna be really hard for those raindrops to wash away the spray on the underside of the leaves. So this is after a heavy rain. I sprayed this morning and look at all that spray residue. So that's a good thing. Uh, so the point of this video and the reason why these are in the trash can, whenever you have something like powdery mildew or black spot, you don't want to compost those leaves. Just throw them straight into the trash can. But the point of this video is to not be discouraged. I know it's really, really rainy out for some of us, and it seems like the disease can get out of control. And you might look at the forecast and just say, hey, I'm not even going to attempt to spray. Uh, here's Double Delight right here. I recommend still trying to spray. Find whatever part of the day is dry and just get it done. Uh, this morning, the leaves were wet from a recent rain. Again, it's not ideal. Ideal is spraying when the leaves are dry and rain is not in, in the forecast. I understand that. But it's better to have something on the leaves. It's better to have something get into the plant, that's crescendo, um, versus nothing and then falling behind in a rainy period can really allow disease to get out of control So try to pick even if it's just a half an hour or hour window when you are actually dry Get that spray on the leaves and you should always be doing this, but especially during wet weather Really make sure you get on the underside of the leaf less likely to wash off more likely to actually impact the insects and disease that you're attacking um, and more likely to get taken up into the plant. And if it's a systemic, the rain won't really have an issue uh, because once it's in the plant, it's doing its job. So don't be discouraged by all the rain. Uh, here's a sunny Sundays. Try to just work with it the best you can. Am I gonna have some black spot and powdery mildew? Sure, um, but by at least getting some spray on the leaves into the plant, especially the underside, uh, these should be better off than if they were left without any spray on them. You can tell the growth is good. Some of these are approaching uh, seven feet where the middle part of June. Uh, so I'll probably actually have to um, prune these back a little bit as we get into um, the summer, if, especially if we get any hurricanes or tropical storms or anything like that. So hope everyone's doing well. Um, for those that don't have rain, hope you get some rain soon. 
seems like we always get sometimes too much of what we want. I was hoping for rain and uh, we're getting quite a bit. I'll last leave you with this one. This is Dolly Parton. Very, very nice bloom and also very fragrant. Have a great day, everybody.